Hello guys. So today we are adding Instagram feed on your WordPress website and this will be a responsive feed. So if user visit your website from computer, laptop or from iPad or from mobile device, it will look perfect. You can see here, this is a view how it will look from a laptop or a computer device. We can change this structure later. If you want to display more posts, you can display more posts also. Right now I'm displaying only eight posts on my website homepage. And you can see here, here's your profile link. User can click on this and they can go to your Instagram account. And you see there's a load more button. If user want, they can click on load more and there will be more images which will load it from my Instagram feed on your website. And they can follow you directly from here on Instagram. And this is how your Instagram feed will look on your tablet or your iPad. And if you are on mobile device, it will look something like this. This is completely responsive and it will look perfect on every device. I would like to tell you that in this channel, I give a lot of easy tips and tricks to create website and upgrade your website game. Consider subscribing to my channel. So now without any further ado, let's go into the video and add an awesome Instagram widget on your WordPress website. So first we need to log in into your WordPress dashboard. So copy your website URL and type slash login in the end and you will come to the website login page and enter your username and password and then click login. So we are going to take a help of a new plugin which will display our Instagram feed on our WordPress website. To add this plugin, go to plugins and click on add new. Now in search field type Instagram feed and hit enter. So you can see this first plugin is called Smash Balloon Social Photo Feed. Before it used to call Instagram feed, you can see they have, they have 1 plus million active installation and they have very good rating. So this is a very reliable plugin and very easy to use. So now we are going to install the plugin. Click on install now. Okay, once it is installed, click on activate. Okay. When the plugin is activated, you can see here on your left sidebar, you will have new option Instagram feed. Click on Instagram feed and it will take you to the setup page. This is very simple to set up and you do not need any technology to set up your Instagram feed. Okay, so now you can see there are few options here. First is configuration, second customize and third display a feed. What is happening here? In configure, you need to connect your account. And then in second customize, you can set that how much Instagram photos or videos you want to show on your website. You can change the layout, you can change the appearance of your Instagram feed on your website. You can choose if you want to display your username on Instagram or not. So everything we will do from customize. And display feed will be the part where we will going to add your Instagram feed on your website. Okay, so first of all, we'll start with connecting your Instagram account. Click on connect an Instagram account. You can choose if it is a personal or business account then click connect so i am already logging into instagram in my browser so it show me directly here if you are not already logged in they will ask you to enter your username and password for instagram and then you will come here then click continue and they will ask you to connect this account click connect this account so now my instagram account is successfully connected with my website if this button is not working you can click on button not working it will take you to this page of smash balloon and from here you can click on this click here to get your instagram access token user id normally the previous method works very well but in case if it doesn't work we are going to cover this method also so choose personal profile or business profile and then click connect and then continue okay so now from here you get this access token, it's a very big token, so just copy it from here and go back to the settings and click on manually connect an account and paste your API token here and then click connect this account. Normally, the default method when you connect your account automatically, it works very well. But I just cover this because in case if it is not working, you can choose this method. So I'm not going to choose this method because I have already connected my account. Okay, everything is good here. Scroll down the page. You can see here, they say check for new post. You want to check your new Instagram post every one hour or every one day or every one minute. 
it is very advised to keep it one hour because if you choose it every one minute it's gonna bring a lot of load on your website so one hour is ideal if you are not a regular poster you can choose one days also okay and then click on save changes now the instagram account is successfully connected to the website we'll go to the customize part so click on customize and from here you can choose the width of your instagram feed if you want it to be smaller you can choose the percentage from here but normally i recommend keep all the options how it is here and you have some option for layout they are available in pro mode if you buy a license then you can access these options but it is not very required the free version works very well you do not need to buy until you really require these options and then you can choose how many numbers of photo you want to display i always choose eight because it doesn't take a lot of space on the page and user will have always the option to load more images so keep it eight or depends how you want it if you want more you can choose any number here then you can choose how many number of columns you want if you want three four five you can change it from here then we have padding so it padding is like how much space you want between two images so you can increase the space just check it out try how it works with your design and you can increase or decrease the space between the images and then we have more options how you want to sort your photos new to oldest or random photos and then image resolution there are lot of options here so i always recommend you can choose the medium one they works very well because if you load auto detected which is recommended but normally what happen in instagram we upload very high quality images and they are very big in size so when you load all those images on your website it brings big load on your website so i'll recommend you to choose the medium option from here or you can choose full size also but it depends the how much load your website can take and how good your server is so if you are in shared hosting always choose medium option and then you can go down there are some more options for pro version we can leave them just like that and then go to header either you want to show your feed header you can choose the feed header size small medium or large you can display your bio text also if you want to add custom bio text you can add it here and there are more options for pro version and then the load more button if you want to show the load more button how we see in the starting of video you can leave this unchecked if you don't want to show load more button you can uncheck this from here you can select background color and text color also i will just keep it load more button enabled then we have option to show follow button also if you want to keep showing follow button on your website leave this unchecked if you don't want to show people follow button you can uncheck it then once you are done you can go down in the end so there are more options for pro version you can just leave them everything just like this you do not need to spend too much time on the settings they works very well by default in the end click save changes okay now the third thing is we'll go to display of feed and we need to copy this short code from here once you copy the short code now we are going to add the feed on your website pages or post whatever you want so to add this feed on a page or a post what you can do go to the pages where you want to add your instagram feed so i'll go to all pages and i can choose the pages where i want to add my instagram feed or you can create a new page also so i will create a new page this is example how you can add instagram feed using the wordpress default editor and after we'll see how we can add instagram feed via elementor give a title to the page instagram feed page and then click on the plus icon from here and choose short code and now paste the short code what we got from here we just need to copy and paste it here okay and then you can click on preview so this is our instagram feed added on website successfully you can see here there is a load more button you can click on this and the more posts will be loaded and there is a follow button also here so your website user can follow you on instagram so this is how we add instagram feed on a page by wordpress editor if you are using elementor page builder and if you want to add on some other places we'll see how we can do this so go to your website and on the page where you want to add instagram feed on that page for example if i want to add my instagram feed on my home page 
I'll go to home page and click on edit with Elementor. Now go to the place where you want to add your Instagram feed on your home page or any other page. So if I want to add my Instagram feed here, I click on this plus icon and then from here I will search for short code and drag and drop to the place where you want to add your Instagram feed. Okay, and now paste the short code what we copied from here and click update. And now we can preview our changes. So I scroll down my home page and you can see my Instagram feed is added here. So this is how we can add Instagram feed on your website. It is very nice way to connect your Instagram and your WordPress. And it is very simple. It almost took few minutes. So you can see our Instagram feed is added on the home page. So we see how we can add Instagram via WordPress default editor and via Elementor. No matter which page builder you're using, the process is same. You install the plugin, then you connect your account from here, and then you go to customize. You can, if you want, you can choose. Otherwise, you can leave everything default here. Do not need to touch this section. Then you go to display a feed, copy the short code, and paste the short code in your favorite page builder whichever you are using on your website i hope this video is useful for you and you successfully added your instagram feed on your wordpress website i really appreciate if you like the video subscribe to my channel and share with your friends and family who want to add instagram feed on their website thank you so much see you in another video